Are you playing the same minor pentatonic licks all the time? Well, maybe I can help you out. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how you can spice up the minor pentatonic scale with chord tones. Before we dive into the lesson, let me play a 12 bar blues progression for you. I will use only the minor pentatonic scale, but I will spice it up with the help of chord tones. So, a lot of my students tell me they're stuck with the pentatonic scale and they ask me how they can break out of it and mix other scales into their playing. They may ask which scales they should learn in order to play jazz or which scales they can play besides the pentatonic scale over a blues progression. I can of course list a bunch of different scales that you should learn, but I'm not going to do that today. Knowing different scales and modes is of course very important and it's something you should practice, but there's something that are far more important than scales in my opinion. What you should prioritize and practice above anything else are chord tones because scales are worth nothing if you don't understand the concept of chord tones. Chord tones will improve your sense for melody, phrasing, and you will learn how to outline the harmony of a song. When you understand the concept of chord tones, you will also get a deeper understanding of scales and how you can use them. So, what's a chord tone? It's super simple. It's an individual note from a chord. Here's an A7 chord. Each and every note that I just played are actually chord tones, you could say. They are chord tones of A7. The A7 chord consists of four different notes. A, E, G, and C sharp. They are the chord tones of A7. Now, you probably know that the common scale to play over the A7 chord in a blues progression is the A minor pentatonic scale or the A minor blues scale. But we want to break out of the pentatonic scale a little bit at least and play something else. That's the whole point of this lesson. So how do we spice up the A minor pentatonic scale when we want to improvise over the A7 chord? Well, the theory is very simple in my opinion. The A7 chord consists of four different notes, which I already told you. One and only one of those four notes doesn't exist within the A minor pentatonic scale, and that's the C sharp. C sharp is the major third of A. The other three notes, A, E, and G, already exist within the A minor pentatonic scale. A, E, G, A again. Here's E again, G, and A. So, if you want to break out of the regular minor pentatonic scale or the blues scale, one way to do it is to include and emphasize the major third of the chord you're soloing over. In this case, the major third of A is C sharp. Use the C sharp in combination with the A minor pentatonic scale or the A minor blues scale. Let's play the A minor pentatonic scale from the low E string to the high E string with the C sharp added. The great thing about this note, the C sharp, is 
Not only will you spice up the pentatonic scale, but you will also outline the harmony the listener will be able to hear in a really obvious way that you're playing over an A7 chord. Why and how can the listener hear that? Well, one of the reasons are simply because you're emphasizing the one and only note from the A7 chord that doesn't belong to the A minor pentatonic scale. The second reason is because the C sharp is the major third of A. This note is very, very important because it determines if the chord is major or minor. Now, let's say you're gonna improvise over a typical 12 bar blues progression in the key of A. The three basic chords in the 12 bar blues progression in the key of A is A7, D7, and E7. Over the first chord, A7, play the A minor pentatonic scale and the major third of A, the C sharp, just like I mentioned before. But how about the other two chords, the D7 and the E7 chord? Well, you can still play the A minor pentatonic scale over those two chords, but be sure to add the major third also. Over D7, play the A minor pentatonic scale, but include and emphasize the major third of D. The major third of D is F sharp. If you do that, you will outline the harmony of the D7 chord and it will be a nice change for sure as opposed to just playing the A minor pentatonic scale. Here's the A minor pentatonic scale with the F sharp added, the major third of D. Okay, listen to this. Let me play something for you. I will play the A minor pentatonic scale but I will also add the major third of A and the major third of D. But I will switch between these two notes, the C sharp and the F sharp, the major thirds. Listen carefully how I switch between the two notes and how I emphasize them. By doing this, you will hopefully hear the sound of an A7 chord and a D7 chord. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. A typical 12 bar blues progression in the key of A consists of three different chords. Two of them are A7 and D7. The last one is E7. So over the E7 chord, you can of course just play the A minor pentatonic scale if you prefer to do so. But we can of course also include and emphasize the chord tones. The chord tones of E7 are E, G sharp, B, and D. Two of these notes, G sharp and B, doesn't exist within the A minor pentatonic scale. So include and emphasize these two notes in combination with the A minor pentatonic scale. Let us play the A minor pentatonic scale with the G sharp and the B. Here's a lick that works really great over the last four bars of the 12 bar blues progression in A. The chords are E7, D7, a7 and back to E7. I will use the A minor pentatonic scale but also chord tones from each chord. By emphasizing the chord tones, mainly the major thirds, you will hopefully hear the harmony and how the chords move by. Alright, that's it for this lesson. Let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful for you or not. Is there anything else you want me to talk about? Also, if you like this lesson, don't forget to hit that like button. A huge thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys. 
I also got many more lessons coming up on my YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe. Okay, this is Emanuel Herberg from Sweden, Stockholm. I see you next time. Bye.